Oh. Oh. No. So we're using that essentially. <laughs> I can't. Hey Greens, so previously I've been testing out five minute craft hacks that seemed, um, a little questionable. For example, I was curious whether or not we can put epoxy resin inside an egg, and whether or not we can use Skittles in a waffle maker to make a lollipop. If you're interested in these videos, I will link them down below. And yes, today I come to you with another five minute crafts has gone too far. More specifically, we will be looking at two different videos for different projects. The first one is called 28 Crazy Glue Gun Ideas. And yes, the thumbnail is someone putting glue on their hair. I guess we'll find out in the video if there's a purpose or a hack. Maybe it gives you like this shininess to your hair that otherwise you can't get from shampoo. Maybe, possibly, who knows? Don't judge till we see. And 21 must know painting hacks for beginner in which the thumbnail shows toothpaste being used on watercolor. I'm going to save you the trouble of looking through that entire video because nowhere do they actually use toothpaste and paint. So are they clickbaiting? 100%. But there is a paint hack in there that's as close as it gets. So we're gonna try that for our finale. Pièce de résistance. The centerpiece of this video. Let me know in the comment section below which one of the hacks we're going to be trying is your favorite and if you've actually ever tried any of them. I almost lost my words because I'm like, are these even possible? At this point, watching 5 Minute Crafts is basically for the memes. That's it. Also, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. I post twice a week. Click on all notifications while you're there because I do tend to wave sharp pointy things at you. You learn to like it. Now when it comes to five minute craft hack videos, the content is extremely inconsistent. Sometimes we're going to get characters and we can get to know them and there's a storyline just like we had with Brad. Shut up, Brad. We have a fan club of anger versus Brad. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, watch the waffle iron video. And other times we're just going to get a square form Format that is very Facebooky, no context, no storyline, nothing. And most of today's videos are going to be just that. And so we're going to start with the 28 crazy glue gun hacks. And it starts off right away with basically the clickbait from the thumbnail, which is one of the first times that they actually do that. And nothing else. Okay, <laughs> this is awkward. So I thought there would be a reason why we would have her putting glue on her hair. Was she just about to get a haircut and they're like, wait, 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 we need a thumbnail. Just stand right there. It's okay, ready. All right, we're just gonna squeeze that on there. End of story. So ultimately she probably went to get a haircut with glue in her hair. I don't think there's a way to get glue gun out of hair, is there? You know what? I wanna try it. Not on me. Not on me. <laughs> I do have fake doll hair. So let's try it on that. Thrift store doll. Jackie, what are you doing this to me? All right, so here's a little bit of her hair. Sorry, Rapunzel, but here we go. We're just going to squirt a little bit of, a little bit of this on there. And just in case some of you want to say, Jackie, natural hair has different oils. Fine. Nobody looks back there anyways. For science. Here's some of my hair too. With all this being indoors anyways, here's some of my hair. <laughs> and off we go. Put a little bit right on the tip. Maybe a little more. There we go. All right, so it's had sufficient time to harden. Let's peel this right off of our base. But let's of course start with the synthetic hair. And does it peel off? No. I mean, if you, oh. No. So they definitely did this to shock you because this person absolutely had to cut their hair. But let's try with the natural hair. Here's a tuft of my hair, also available for $8.99 at your local YouTube shop. Okay, so here we go with my natural hair. Oh no. See, it's slipping out of my fingers and I'm trying to pull it. If this was stuck to my actual head, just like this one here, it would have ripped it right Part. But because these strands are not stuck to anything, the ones that were directly touching definitely got ripped out. Ultimately, all this to say, don't do it. <laughs> Moving on to the next hack, it seems we have a pencil and glue gun. I'm really curious if the actual pencil... Okay, hang on. That's interesting, because technically the whole point of a glue gun is for it to stick on things. So just looking back at how easily it comes off the pencil, is that a thing or is that some of their more wizardry? Very interesting. 
So we're gonna give this one a try because I'm I'm very doubtful that this is going to work, let alone as a hair tie. I thought a bracelet, but a hair tie. Just to be clear, they 100% did not prepare the pencil in any way. So here we are with a very standard type pencil and we're going to go ever so slowly in a twirly type motion all the way down. I definitely think this is probably enough twirlies. And here we are, moment of truth. And it looks pretty settled on there, but let's try and remove the same way they did, which is, I'm pretty sure they just slipped it right up. They just kinda did this. It is pretty good massage though. Yeah, there is absolutely no way this is coming off. Oh my God. Nope. So this hack and the way they presented it is absolutely in the trash. All right, we're taking a shirt, adding some glue on there. Okay, and then spritzing it with fabric dye. That actually looks like a really cute design, but then, oh, we're removing it. Is that even possible? I'm here doubting everything that they're doing because last I checked, putting glue on fabric makes it stick. I do have a really old shirt. <laughs> Don't judge its color. It's old, it's being used to, you know, to clean things around the house. Let's try it with that. It's the same fabric, okay? We'll try it with that. Okay, do we get to see it on somebody or are they just peeling it off and then that's it? Love is my religion. Interesting, very interesting statement. Okay, we see it on someone. It does look pretty cute. And I do have all the things. Our discolored shirt. In case any of you really feel like saying, but Jackie, you needed to have washed this shirt first. This shirt has had at least a hundred washes. So I think what I'm really curious about is actually if the glue gun will come right off. So let's put our little shirt over here. And it's a really nice material. It's pretty smooth. So if any glue will come off of it, if any shirt, it should be this one. All right, and let's go ahead and do a little heart for you grains. This is really thin. Very good for detail. Okay, never mind. <laughs> No detail. At least we have a shape down. <laughs> if all goes well, we technically should be able to remove it in the same ease that they did. Let's check that clip again. It was just a clean pull right off. One of the things I hate the most is wasting resources and creating more trash. So if this works, then I'll do the, uh, the, the spritz on top. All right, and oh, I did it pretty thin though. Look at that. It doesn't come off as easy. Mm, okay, the thicker parts do not want to come off. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Thicker parts. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, it did come off. That was quite the struggle though, and this was really thin. You know what? I'm going to take out my thicker glue gun and lay it on pretty thick in the same way that they did. And here we go. Let's lay it on nice and thick. There we go. How is our letter doing? Is it going to come off? And the answer is yes. Look at you, not as easy as they made it seem, but look at that, it does come off. Let's make a cute little design. We're gonna use bubblegum paint. And it's had sufficient time to set. Oh no, no. Oh, this is not coming off. Oh, there we go. Oh my God. I am having a really hard time getting this just with my hands. Let's, oh my God. God, we got, no, <laughs> this is so hard. And I only made a simple heart shape. And here's the result of 20 minutes of struggling just to get the heart shape out. It was a huge pain in the bum. It does work, but there's still some glue residue embedded into the cloth. So I would say be very careful if you're going to wash this and there's glue in there with hot water. I'm not quite sure what we're going to be using a needle for. Okay, interesting. And now what does this needle become? A push pin. Because instead of buying push pins, we might as well just buy a bunch of needles and cover them with glue gun. I'm also pretty impressed that the glue stuck to the metal. We'll come back to that. Keep that in mind. Let's take this idea. Here's the idea and put it on the side for now. Okay, it'll disappear, but keep remembering it. We'll come back later. <laughs> For this next project, it seems like we're using a piece of glass or plastic. It's warping a little bit, not too much from the heat. Rocks, 
interesting. Are they making a pond? Hey, don't tell me they're making a koi pond. <gasps> that is my design. No. Did they just take my design? Hang on, let's wait and see. I, I'm, I'm speechless at this point because I can see koi. Oh no. So, a good few years ago, one of the things that made my channel, you know, stand out just a little bit is I designed a koi pond with a waterfall made out of resin. The idea is very similar, even the idea of using a plastic piece to make the waterfall, which I credited Sandra Arts for, because she was the first one to use this technique. And then they went ahead and did a very similar design. Again, I know I don't own this design, and I still think it's cute, because I made it. <laughs> But that's interesting. Obviously, they won't credit anyone where credit is due. So the idea of the waterfall with a plastic sheet, that's Sandra's idea. Putting it out there. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Matchstick and glue. What are we doing? Uh, why? What is this? Why? Portable hot glue matches. Because we definitely need hot glue on the go. I'm going to carry a box of matches with me all the time so that I can fix things that I break apparently all the time too. Instead of, you know, going to the nearest dollar store if I break things. Not all the time. I don't break things all the time. But apparently this person does it often enough that it warrants a whole hack. I need to carry little matches and make them into little portable glue guns. <laughs> sure. Okay. Ooh, we have two different colored glue gun sticks, which I do own. What are we making with this? We're putting them together. How do you fuse them? Can we? Interesting. Does that work? Interesting. Okay, that would be a really cool hack if it actually does work. I do have different colored glue sticks, so let's go ahead and try this one because I have yet to see someone put two halves because the likelihood of you actually making it down the line, it even looked jaggedy over here. Obviously, there was more of the white side. It didn't look like it was really straight, so there's room for error according to this hack. When we move forward, we can see that they do put it into the glue gun, but then after that, all all the shots, as you can see, are only of the tip and the color coming out of the tip. We don't actually see the glue gun itself being fed through the, the whole thing. You know what we're gonna do? Here are my colored sticks. And I'm very much so feeling like colors that will contrast each other but will look beautiful together. From what it showed on the actual video, we didn't have to be too precise in the way that we cut it. All right, let's see first how challenging it's going to be just cutting it through the middle. Oh my god. Oh, that is hard. Oh no. <gasps> Maybe scissors are better. Oh, my poor table. What about like so? Oh, that works. I'm gonna just keep cutting with this tiny scissors and then I'll put both halves together. <laughs> Don't let anyone ever tell you that cutting through a glue stick is easy. It is dangerous and I don't recommend it. So this is as good as I'm able to get. And that's a fail. And so here is as good as it gets. Of course, I have to just make sure that I push them together at the same time. And let's try to feed both halves in. So far, so good. Okay, we're getting somewhere. All right, let's... Oh, that's hair. <laughs> Let's squeeze our glue gun until we get color, since it is supposed to technically continue feeding from this point here. Oh no, my table! No, my desk! No! <laughs> get out of here. Okay, so let's see how it feeds from the back. Oh no, please don't jam. Oh no. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought would happen. So the reason I was pretty skeptical about this specific hack is because we do have two individual pieces. Not just that, but every time that they show us that it's giving us two different colors, they never show us that it's feeding the actual tubes. Well, the glue sticks. And so even on my own machine over here, you can see that it was pulling them, but it's like it's pulling them at different times, which may inevitably cause some kind of clogging. So because they're not showing us that it's actually feeding from there, so it might actually be something completely different. I'm saying actually a lot, aren't I? Actually, actually, actually. I'm gonna keep playing with this, but I'm going to say right away that this hack is absolutely debunked. In the trash! So I broke whatever was sticking out and stuck in an entire red. And now it's pushing through properly. It didn't like the fact that they were two halves. But hey, we did get a little bit going on. Now we're getting baby oil, putting a string, and okay, that is so weird. 
So initially they started where the baby oil isn't over here as you could see there's no baby oil then they zoom in and then there's baby oil they absolutely love to trick us in the same way that when we were making these waffle hacks so many times they put in one thing open the waffle iron and it is a completely different thing so again no baby oil baby oil no baby oil baby oil <laughs> All right, five minute crafts, where is this going? Are we making a bracelet and we're tying it up? And it's a choker, actually pretty cute. I have nothing else to say. Then I'm really curious why we're using baby oil and why not just a silicon mat? Take your knowledge and put it in my head, please. I need to understand. Oh no, don't tell me we're making another slipper. Okay, no, we're not making a slipper. We are doing me, follow, follow me, footprints. Oh look, we have characters now. Is there, is there a storyline? So follow me, footsteps. <laughs> And of course, I mean, why not run to a person, say hi, and then hold hands? Why was that so awkward? <laughs> I mean, if it were that easy to get into a relationship, I think I want to make a similar slipper and just write, let's be friends and walk on the sand and see if anyone follows to be my friend. Ah, the challenges of adults. I think that's an absolutely useless hack, especially you can only use it when you're on sand. Oh, 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 crazy glue gun life hacks. And this is really dangerous because they're putting glue gun straight on someone's hand. But what some people may not notice is that they already had a base of glue on the hand before they're pouring the glue gun. Because trust me, you do not want to get burnt by a glue gun. I actually had second degree burns. I have a scar from them. This should come with a disclaimer. Super duper mega hyper giga dangerous. I used all my words to make things amplified as best as I can. <laughs> Now apparently we have a knife and Vaseline. No, why would anyone do that? Are we making a sheath for our knives? Because apparently wooden blocks like this don't exist and uh, drawers don't exist. Okay, but now we have the whole inside of that sheath coated in Vaseline. I guess it could work if you're trying to travel with a knife, but if you're traveling with a knife, why are you bringing... Wait, what? Why would you bring a knife with you? Because if you're going camping, they already come with sheaths. And if you're bringing a knife from somewhere else to home, they already come with protection. What? Let's just call that one absolutely useless. Are we doing something else with it? No, we're just shoving Vaseline straight back in there. Ooh, we have popsicle sticks and a pencil sharpener at the bottom. Let's see where we're gonna go with this. Okay, so we're gonna remove the blade. Oh, are we making a weapon? What are we doing? We're making a weapon. Do not make weapons at home. We're making an exacto. We're gonna use a pencil sharpener that we most likely got from the dollar store. Popsicle sticks that we also paid about a dollar for. Unscrew it to create an exacto that we technically could have also bought at the dollar store. But no, we're gonna make one instead. I also don't think it's that sharp. It could be wrong, but holy crap, that really went through the paper. Look, slice it nice. Essentially, we, we just learned how to make a weapon though. So that during a zombie apocalypse, here's an advertisement. Hey you, is it the zombie apocalypse? Are all the sharp pointy things claimed by other survivors? Well then don't worry, get yourself a pencil sharpener and a popsicle stick and a screwdriver and a glue gun and electricity. <laughs> no, 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 I don't see this as being a hack. A hack should technically make your life easier, not take a detour. I do like the fact that we made a weapon. <laughs> And now we're getting, oh, okay, we're getting another intro. The amount of intros in the <laughs> Five Minute Crafts videos, you, you know they're just compilations of their Facebook videos put in different orders. That's basically it. You're getting a content mishmash of the same thing over and over again. Glue gun hacks for girls. If you're a guy, not for you. Absolutely not. Only if you identify as a girl. That's it, end of story. I didn't make the rules. Apparently Five Minute Crafts does. <laughs> So what kind of hacks you got for us? We are starting with a razor and covering the blade and the plastic and the top part. So the entire front part of the blade is covered in glue gun. Now remember that idea that we took earlier on? Remember the one where glue gun sticks to metal? I'm not quite sure how this specific hack is going to work because now it's stuck on metal, it's stuck on plastic. That's the whole point of a glue gun. But what are we doing? Are we just keeping it safe and we can easily peel it off? So we're going to be peeling it off fairly easily, it seems. 
you know what, I do have disposable blades and I really want to try this out. Because technically, if it does work, it's a good idea. However, <laughs> oh, how are these hacks working? Disposable blades come with coverings. Right? Or is it me? You know what? I really didn't want to take a fresh new blade because I'm going to take one that is basically ready to be recycled. So it is a used one. Just don't think about it too much. You may or may not see little speckles of hair here and there, okay? Just don't judge it. That's the whole point of a razor, right? Right. And basically, according to the video, as we can see, they're just putting a nice coat right on top. And they weren't careful where it went. So we're going to do that. And it is also double bladed in the same way. Right on top let that sit for a bit and so it does it protect yes absolutely no no cuttage and can we peel it off so I got it to wiggle out of the side and let's see the peelability and the answer is yes ew little hair you saw nothing but yeah, I'm gonna say that this hack does work. So if you absolutely need to travel, or maybe even get rid of those extra little bits of hair that are deep in there, it works. I'm just gonna put a little more to get more of those hairs on the deeper end. I think I found a hack that I actually like. Remember, only for girls. Now we have earrings, lost an earring back. You know what? If this is going to go in the back of the earring, that's actually a clever idea. Is that the case? Is that what we're doing? Yes. That's not a bad idea because the amount of times when I used to wear earrings before I discovered I had a metal allergy, I used to lose the backings quite a bit. So this idea, if you do lose the backing, it's not too bad for a temporary solution. Oh, hey, look, another intro, wild glue gun tricks. Oh, oh, no, 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 mm -mm. no, 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 no. Nope. So, um, I needed to hydrate because I got a little too excitable. So this hack apparently requires you to use some form of protection. Place it on a bottle of soda, glue gun right inside, and then what are we using that for? Okay, so we're using that essentially. <laughs> I can't. Okay, let me get this straight. We're using protection to put it on a soda bottle to seal our soda bottle. But now the entire inside of that soda bottle has some kind of lube or, or something coated into the glue gun. Embedded into the glue gun is some form of lubrication. <laughs> no, this can't be an actual, this has got to be a joke. But in addition to it actually being, I can't even keep a straight face. In addition to it looking like this now, immediately once we look at the next scene, we can see that it is much bigger. The top is much bigger. Look at that. So I have a feeling that they definitely see back and forth these two different scenes. It's much higher. So there's something that went on behind the scenes so that they can make it. You see, it's not falling. So I think they actually glued it to the bottle. They tried probably to make it heavier. It didn't stick. So they most likely glued it to the actual bottle because the fact that they were able to just plop it in to the bottle, look at real time, plop. There was no effort in pushing it down, none. So it means that there would be no effort in it coming out. I just realized everything I'm saying now in context does not sound right. If taken out of context, it just sounds off. Yeah, they, they definitely stuck this onto the bottle. There's no other way that this would not have come out. What do you have for me, five minute crafts? Another stick of, oh, we're making another weapon. Okay, what are we doing? <laughs> Are we doing another exacto? Is this where we're at? Oh, wait, there's a third layer. A lighter! We're making a flamethrower. <gasps> a heated weapon. Why am I, why am I like this? Okay, ignore the fact that I keep saying the word weapon because that's not what we're doing. We're making a craft tool, okay? So apparently this tool can heat up the blade and we can melt things. I highly doubt that little amount of heat. Whoa, wait, that video just skip. Hang on. Yes. Okay, their editing is not bad at all because we can see that there's a bit of a skip in the editing from here to here. We can see that the thumb is facing upwards. Next scene, they cut it, most likely because they actually had to heat it with a real heating tool. Fingers different, keep an eye on that thumb on the right side. Boom, gone. This is such sneaky content. They heated up their actual blade with the proper way and look at that, it is going through the plastic like butter. No, no, we're not ready. 
ready for shoes. We're not gonna focus on shoes right now. But how sneaky is that? Look at that. Thumb up, thumb gone. Thumb up, thumb gone. They heated it up in the right way. So they're really misleading us because I highly doubt, let's backtrack, that tiny flame that is touching the bottom part of the blade is hot enough to melt plastic. Oh, five minute crafts. Do you think we, the viewers, are that gullible? I mean, it's an interesting idea, especially for a zombie apocalypse, right? <laughs> We're not gonna do another trailer, don't worry. But yeah, this is extremely misleading because they're presenting us hacks and these hacks essentially are not true, they're not real, and some of them are just plain dangerous. This one 100% is busted, don't even need to try it because again, as you saw, editing. Ooh, oranges. They are by far my favorite fruits ever. Let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite. I am a huge citrus lover, except for Pumplemouse. Um, what's it called in English? Pumplemousse. Grapefruits. I'm not a fan of grapefruits, just a little, a little too bitter for me. What are we doing with the orange? Okay, we're going to soften it, cut it up, interesting, and put a top part of a water bottle. Is that really gonna work? Really? So they obviously reinforced the bottom part of that orange bottle, and apparently we get juice just by rolling it up like that and popping a bottle on top. I'm gonna try that. Time for orange time. <laughs> Don't judge this orange on the outside. It's actually straight from a farm and it's really sweet. Pat makes me fresh squeezed oranges every morning. So I know these are good and juicy. Not to mention for the last 10 minutes, I was rolling it around to get it extra juicy on the inside. I've already started cutting around the orange and just look how juicy it is. Oh my God. This is basically where I get a little more skeptical because it is a very flexible service. I'm not sure how well the glue is going to hold. So let's do that. Okay. Is it melting the plastic? Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's just do this. I'm sorry, orange. I feel so bad. And here. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna do another layer to make sure that it's secure and then we'll wait a little bit and then try to squeeze it out or pour it out or whatever it is that they did. Oh my god, the camera didn't catch it, but the plastic keeps melting and retracting, oh no. Might I also add how ridiculous it is to put a nozzle on top of an actual orange? It's not like we're carrying the orange with the, the resealable top to bring it in, in our bags and to go. So even just the concept of this hack is absolutely absurd. But yeah, you could see over here how the plastic kept melting and warping. And honestly, if you're gonna roll an orange, you're gonna get juice out of it. So this hack is not just debunked, but I would say useless. Now that we're done with the orange what do you have glue gun hacks this scene just feels a little wrong I'm not sure what the point is of just having the glue gun leak all over the other glue gun in that position from behind I feel like the top glue gun should be using the protection we saw in that previous hack are they doing this on purpose or is my mind just in the gutter all right okay so this entire segment is going to be an interesting one I'm just going to fast forward we're going to see that they're just doing the outline are they making slippers are they making slippers out of the outline of necessities, monthly necessities? Yes, they are. That is going to be absolutely uncomfortable. I can tell you that from experience. I did do a five minute craft, or was it trim trim, of making a slipper with glue gun. Holy carb, that was the most inconvenient way of making a slipper. And I used more glue gun things, sticks, than worth a dollar where I could have picked up slippers. I'm just gonna say no to that one. Taking a silicone roller, adding some glue. This is not a bad way to make texture on clay and such things. Fabric paint, no. Don't tell me you're making a t-shirt out of this. No, oh no, why would anyone wear this? You look like you got run over. Why would you do that? The amount of paint is not even. The design itself is not pretty. What statement are you making? Hello, I am Roadkill. <laughs> no, no, no. Next. Okay, another dangerous intro. We had a previous intro where the glue was going onto the hand, but now we're getting glue going straight on the tongue. They do have a placeholder there. Again, not something to try, not funny, not a joke, not a prank. Do not do this. If you think hot cheese is bad, this is just, where's the warning? Where's the warning? Holy carp. Five Minute Crafts is promoting glue gun on your tongue. Wow, what kind of hack is that? 
why are they still allowed to do this? So the title of this one is Eraser. What are we doing? Really, are, are they going to turn a glue stick into an eraser? Okay, that's interesting. If that actually works, that would be pretty good. Hang on, are we using a pen or pencil? Wait, wait, let's go back. I wanna check, are we using? Okay, so we're using a pencil. But then as they're erasing, look at that. We have the little shavings. You see that? Of an actual eraser. There's that little bit of like friction res residue is what I'm saying. See, we have quite a few of them as they're erasing and you have to push it off. That we're gonna try because I genuinely am curious about this specific hack. For this hack, let's just write, I be salty. And I'm really not even pressing that hard. So this is light. This is hard. And who needs a real eraser? Let's get you out of here. There you go. So we should be okay to just do this. There we go. We should have a nice little nub sticking right out. Like so. Now for the moment of truth. Let's see if it actually works. Let me know in the comment section below. Will the glue gun eraser work or will it go? I think it's gonna go. And does it work? Oh, oh, how about here? Oh. I had my hopes up. No. It has hardened, I'm telling you, look. It has fully hardened. I mean, it does work. You're basically removing your pencil to replace it with glue. Good job. Glue gun eraser, debunked. And now for the pièce de résistance. From the initial video that we saw that shows toothpaste on paint, where I don't even know what they were trying to say, but again, that actual hack is nowhere in their video. The closest thing that comes to this is this one right here. And yes, this is the only one I watched it. <laughs> Bear with me here. So the idea behind this hack is we're taking white glue alongside with food colorant and shaving cream to create some kind of 3D paint. It looks absolutely adorable and in theory this should work, but I have no idea why we use the glue because technically we could just use the shaving cream alongside the paint and it should give us what we want. So I'm really curious how the glue is going to affect that. Some people are even using it instead of fabric paint in order to do squishy paintings. So let's go ahead, make this, and see what it looks like the next day. Here's our white glue, a little bit of neon food colorant, there we go, and shaving cream. <laughs> Come on, there we go. And so this, as you can see, gives us a really pretty pastel type color. Of course, it's going to depend on how much we put in there, but I'm really curious to see the actual 3D effect and how much it goes down by morning. All right, so let's make a thick bit over here, kind of like so, and see how much it decreases by. Look at that. Oh man, this makes me want strawberry frosting. <laughs> that is a smooth color. Mm -hmm. And then over here, let's just make some texture and see how well it holds that texture. And for curiosity's sake, let's see how well it works as fabric paint and if it stays flexible or if it starts cracking. Again, let's leave it overnight. This is going to be our depth measure. Let's put it here and we'll know that it is this much deep. This is after 15 hours and oh no, it's still very foamy. So I would say that this here as a 3D paint is a bust. You definitely have to use way more glue. And what's the point? Might as well spend that money getting 3D fabric paint. And our textured experiment has gone completely flat. Let me know in the comment section below which hack absolutely surprised you. I think my favorite is probably still the one that we absolutely debunked without even having to try, which is the heated blade. I'm watching you very closely. For shame. <clears throat> If you want to watch more hacks, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a video of a craft review, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.